Welcome to the News Hour. Former President Barack Obama is set to headline the second night of the Democratic National Convention here in his political hometown of Chicago. Mr. Obama will speak in support of Kamala Harris, the party's newly minted standard bearer, delivering what a campaign official says will be a forceful affirmation that Harris is the right leader for the moment. The former president's appearance comes one night after the sitting president, Joe Biden, delivered a fiery speech in defense of his decision to step aside and in support of Harris. Laura Barone Lopez has been watching it all closely, and she's on the convention floor now. Laura. Jeff and Omna, the first night of the DNC began to tell the story of Kamala Harris. But it was also a moment for the party to mark those who came before her and created this pathway for her to ultimately rise uh, and to chart a new pathway for Democrats. I would like to introduce my father, your 46th president of the United States, Joe Biden. President Biden took the stage with an embrace from his daughter, Ashley, wiping a tear from his eye as delegates and attendees did the same. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Greeted by a sea of signs that read, We Heart Joe, and chants of his name. The crowd gave him a standing ovation that lasted nearly five minutes. It was a scene that could have been his own party nomination on the final night of the convention. But this was more of a goodbye. Let me know in my heart, when my days are through, America, America, I gave my best to you. I made, I made a lot of mistakes in my career, but I gave my best to you. For 50 years, like many of you, I've given my heart and soul to our nation and a passing of the torch to Kamala Harris. I promise I'll be the best volunteer Harris and Waltz has Cam have ever seen. Biden made no secret of the pressure he faced to bow out one month ago, saying he harbors no hard feelings. In all this talk about how I'm angry at all those people who said I should step down, that's not true. He focused on his accomplishments, together with Vice President Harris. We've had one of the most extraordinary four years of progress ever, period. When I say we, I mean Kamala and me. Earlier, Harris praised the man she hopes to replace. Joe, thank you for your historic leadership, for your lifetime of service to our nation, and for all you will continue to do. We are forever grateful to you. And the night ended with the two hugging on stage. Vice President Harris could be seen saying, I love you so much. Hillary Clinton. The program also acknowledged those who made Harris's moment possible, including the last woman nominated by the party, Hillary Clinton. Together, we put a lot of cracks in the highest, hardest glass ceiling. Most of her speech focused on the weight of the moment and the fight ahead. My mother and Kamala's mother could see us. They would say, Keep going. <laughs> Women fighting for reproductive health care are saying, Keep going. <laughs> Families building better lives, parents stretching to afford child care, young people struggling to pay their rent. They're all asking us to keep going. In one of the night's more emotional moments, the personal stories from women impacted by abortion restrictions, a mobilizing force for Democrats. Stories like Caitlin Joshua of Louisiana. Because of Louisiana's abortion ban, no one would confirm that I was miscarrying. I was in pain, bleeding so much my husband feared for my life. No woman should experience what I endured, but too many have. How many kids do you kill today? But outside the convention center, scenes of potential dissent that could still hinder Democrats as dozens protesting the war in Gaza broke past a security barricade. Multiple people were arrested, and protesters vowed more demonstrations this week. We've got to have common sense public safety. And if we don't have public safety, we don't have anything. The Republican ticket also plans counter-programming around the convention. 
Today, at two events in Midwest battleground states, former President Trump and running mate J.D. Vance bashed Biden and Harris on crime, despite violent crime being down across the country. You can't walk across the street to get a loaf of bread. You get shot, you get mugged, you get raped, you get whatever it may be. And you've seen it and I've seen it. And it's time for a change. We have to bring back our cities. We have these cities that are great cities where people are afraid to live in them. Back in Chicago, it's the Obamas that take center stage tonight. But neither Harris nor vice presidential nominee Tim Walls will be at the convention themselves. Instead, campaigning in the swing state of Wisconsin, less than 100 miles away.